Something just happened in outer space that I think you guys need to hear about. I'll get to the reason why it's extremely dangerous in just a second. But Starlink, the satellite company owned by Elon Musk, just announced that on December 17th, they lost contact with a huge satellite called 35956. They discovered an anomaly causing it to rapidly decay and break apart. The satellite blew up. Starlink went on to say that it's still largely intact, but will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere in a few weeks and burn up before it can ever hit the ground. There also does not seem to be a risk of it hitting the internet. National Space Station, which is obviously a good thing. First of all, this is rare. NASA suggests only about 18 satellites have blown up since 1995. But here's where it can get really dangerous. There's a thing called the Kessler Syndrome. It essentially suggests that you have so many satellites in space all at once traveling at these extreme speeds that if one of them blows up, it blows up into pieces, you know, this big. All it takes is these tiny pieces to break up other satellites, cause them to explode at high rates of speed. And then you have this chain reaction where all of the satellites end up getting blown apart all at once. It's a legitimate worry for NASA. And of course, would have a huge impact on us here on the Earth because of how much we rely on these satellites for communication every day. Now, there's nothing to suggest that the loss of Starlink 35956 will cause this chain reaction, but it's a concern. As I was researching this story, I found this amazing website. It's called satellitemap.space. You can track all satellites in real time. I could waste a ton of time on this site. There are about 13,000 satellites orbiting the Earth right now. It's just incredible. I tracked down Starlink 35956 and found it right there, floating around in space at the moment in pieces. As of this recording, it was just south of Australia. In the meantime, Starlink says it's researching this satellite explosion and is trying to determine an exact cause. 